Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name's Katie and today I'm going to be doing a cover reaction reveal <laughs> with maybe some theories to the Rhythm of War cover that was just announced. So I wasn't planning on filming today, or I've been studying all day, but I just got so excited when it was announced on Twitter. So I had to film a video because why not? And I'm going to do, first of all, my reaction to the US cover because that one just came out and maybe some like theories around the cover. I don't know. We'll see. And then um, also the UK cover because I mean, I'm in the UK, so that's the cover I'll be getting. Although I am so tempted to also pre-order the US edition because it's so pretty and it has absolute okay okay so this video is going to be very fangirly just a warning <laughs> um but yeah so if you didn't know for some strange reason um the Stormlight Archive is like my favorite series ever I just love it so much I have several videos on this channel <laughs> already talking about it um I have one where I just gush about the various characters I have another one which kind of explains a bit more about what it is and also I unbox these little Stormlight tarot cards I have. <laughs> um, I have some Cosmo videos as well so yeah I have lots. So I'm gonna, I have my laptop to like look at the pictures just down here but I am going to insert like the picture here so you can see it. <laughs> so before the cover came out I had a strong suspicion that it was gonna be Shallan on the cover because I mean we've so far we've had like Kaladin, Dalinar and Shallan are like the main three characters I would say. And we've had a Dalinar and a Kaladin cover. And, but then Oathbringer was Jasna. So I thought it would be Shallan. And the UK one also is kind of Shallan. So I'm, I was right. So yeah, I'll just put the, like, the very cover, the front cover. Because um, we'll get to the back later. <laughs> we've got Shallan. And I, I believe she's in Shadesmar, which is super cool. Because I read the like tour tweet. Or it was a, a quote tweet with Michael Whelan, who is the cover artist. And he was saying it was like an honour to be able to kind of draw shades mark or like conceptualize it so yeah so what have we got i'll try and like put it here so i'm still looking at you <laughs> um i've been doing communication skills um got to make eye contact okay, okay so the first thing i kind of noticed is she kind of looks like anna from frozen 2 just the whole like travel outfit i don't know i just love it oh she looks so good uh i wish i had hair like shalane okay and it kind of looks, it almost looks underwatery, which I kind of like because I always sort of pictured Shades Mart, especially the way it's described, like how the land is kind of like a ball pit or whatever. So it's like balls. I don't know. Um, yeah, but it just looks sort of like coral reef almost. And she, she looks like she's like standing on the waves. I don't know if that's like symbolic of something or if it's rocks. I'm not very good at like dissecting art. <laughs> that's probably the not even a real word. You can tell I'm from a science background because I call it dissection instead of analysing. In the sky, it looks like we've got these kind of um, streaks, I don't know, like coming from a sun or something. And I wonder if that's sort of relating to like cosmic something or other because obviously we have um, like the humans and stuff, they came to the planets. Maybe that's sort of relating to like space travel. I don't know if they're going to be going to Bray's we'll see and um, what else I, I can't see pattern which on the UK cover there's pattern I don't know if that should be read into or not but I do love pattern so yeah okay and so then we're gonna go on to the back which <laughs> has Adeline on which I'm very I'm so proud of my baby no I love Adeline Um, he's like one of my favorite characters I just love him how like sweet and ray of sunshine and yeah he's just the best we have him and it looks like he's holding um my Laren, who is the sword. Um, so I'm I'm strongly suspecting that in Rhythm of War there's gonna be a My Laren re resurrection arc. <laughs> I don't know if that's the thing, but I feel like Adeline's probably gonna try and bring her back, especially with the ending of Rhythm of No, the ending of Oathbringer. Um, I think there were some strong hints towards that. And I saw some art earlier as well. If I can find it, I'll try and put it in. Of um my Lauren and it's so good yeah ugh. um I look like the kind of just the whole aesthetic of her in, in Oathbringer and Shadesma like the kind of dead plan I don't, I don't know I'm just too excited to talk obviously um I also love that how he's like kneeling and then where the sword's touching the ground it's like a little rainbow which I don't know if that's I've got several theories for that one of them is like wherever Adeline goes it's like a little brings this brings the color and the sunshine 
because especially on the back it's quite like dark and then just where he is there's like the little rainbow and then same with Shalon on the cover actually she's kind of in the like light maybe they're bringing love and sunshine although that's a bit like <laughs> maybe that's a bit optimistic but also because it's a rainbow have to think well is he gonna be bringing the <laughs> bringing the pride but yeah well I think both Adeline and Shalon have been confirmed to be bi but I feel like I would love that like actually on page because I feel like so far we've only had it confirmed by like Brandon in Q&A's so I'd really like that like canon on paper that would be so cool um just even them saying they would like have a threesome with Kaladin that would just be oh, okay that's enough of my OT3 shipping I'm very excited about OT3s at the moment because I just read a different book which had a new like favourite OT3 which I was very excited about and it was actually canon which I don't think Shalan, Kaladin, Adeline is ever gonna be canon <laughs> maybe <laughs> fingers crossed but oh, also on the topic of like rhythm of war theories Kaladin <sighs> there's I haven't read any of the preview chapters but I have several like friends who've like messaged me <laughs> um saying that one of them Kaladin has like talked about he was in a relationship with Lynn or something and um, in the kind of break because I believe there's going to be a one-year break between Oathbringer and Rhythm of War and um <laughs> that's first of all that's kind of sweet but also I don't know how I feel about Kaladin being in a relationship I kind of like that it happened in the break and then we've like didn't see any of it so it's obviously like maybe Kaladin's a disaster in relationships and maybe we'll get like a Kaladin as an ace asexual arc that would be super cool but I feel like I don't have a lot of hope for that even though I do kind of see Kaladin as like ace maybe Demi um but also but I can also see him being in like a relationship with someone and just completely like fluffing it up well but we also then Adeline is also kind of like the terrible Anshalan as well they're all the kind of like dumbasses in love type characters so yeah we'll see how it goes with Kaladin I kind of feel like if Kaladin's gonna get a love interest I want it to be someone new um not someone we've already met I don't know we'll see some crazy people ship Kaladin and Jasna that's just a no Jasna's definitely a lesbian she definitely deserves to have a queen to her her kingliness <laughs> I got sidetracked there <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so now we've finished looking at Adelaide. Um, also, there's this tower in the background. So I don't know if that's Urethiru, because that's not how I've seen it depicted. It just looks like a giant stone square, like a slab. So I don't know if that's maybe an oath gate, could be, or what else could it be? The Shades Mar version of Urethiru? I don't know. Could be like... Well, if Shalan and Adeline are going to be in Shadesmar in this book, which is kind of looking like it, because this cover and the Bulgarian cover, I believe, are both had them kind of, the pair of them in Shadesmar. It could be something in there, like they could be, I feel like there's some stuff with the cryptids and who are something in Shadesmar. So they could be going to like, look at the cryptids that could be like their stronghold. I don't know. I'm just pulling these theories out of thin air. We've also, I've also seen several theories, which um about Adeline going evil which if Adeline goes evil then I'm going evil suddenly I'll be an odium supporter um which I don't know if this cute this cover like really supports that theory maybe it's just me being in denial but I feel like where they are is both they're quite like light although Adeline's kind of looking up at the sky which maybe maybe that tower has something to do with odium and he's kind of looking at it so that's suspicious I hope he doesn't go evil which but I don't know I kind of feel like a corruption arc would be quite good and then also I love him so much and he's so sweet so I feel like our corruption would be bad but uh, I hope we get some Adeline and Shalan fluff as well yeah anyway so yeah I just love the whole like tone uh, this I think this might be my favorite cover out of the four because previously it was Oathbringer because Jasna ugh, she's just the best but I really love this one especially the kind of like sort of purpley blue tones which you can, can probably tell I quite like and I like how it almost looks like watery like sea based which I, I'm not really sure it is gonna be like in the book but I just love those kind of vibes like, I think I said earlier about it being like underwatery vibes okay so then next we're gonna have a look at the UK Rhythm of War cover which was released ages ago <laughs> but I never did a video because I wanted to wait and do them together so on this one which I really really like this one actually I 
I I thought this was gonna be like my favorite all time cover, but then the US one came out, which oh, it's just so good. I'm I think I'm gonna have to pre order the US one as well because I mean it's my favorite series. So I feel like I can justify having two copies. Um, I also well I kind of want to collect the like US hardbacks, but I don't know how easy they are to get. So I feel like the Oathbringer one should be relatively easy to find. If you know a good place in the UK to get Stormlight hardbacks, then let me know. Um, I feel like one of the, I feel like they're all in book depository, but they're kind of expensive. They're like 25 quid, which is a lot because like a normal hardback is like 15 pounds. So anyway, I like, I like the UK ones because they kind of have more of like a minimalist theme, um, which we've got a Shallan with a very long blade, which I'm guessing is pattern looking quite badass. We also, I just like how kind of simplistic it is. It almost seems a bit like, kind of like Japanese art inspired and um, with the kind of background with the like mountain and the like red sun and the kind of blossoms, which I think is interesting. Yeah, I'm not really coming up with any theories from this other than Shlan being about us. <laughs> but it's pretty and I feel like it's very like, I don't know, it just appeals to me like that style. Um, with the kind of tones the like grey and red I don't know I like it so I'll just briefly look at the other two because I feel like two other countries I'm sure one's Bulgaria maybe Russia is one. Oh, I just saw a comment another one about the the rainbow sword which is Warbreaker so like Nightblood or well maybe not Nightblood but we know Nightblood's on Rashad so it could be Nightblood but I don't know how Adeline would have got hold of Nightblood because I feel like it'll either be Seth or Lift who has it. That's another thing that I really want to happen in Rhythm of War is Vasha, Vivenna, Seth, that kind of collision. That would be so cool. But I don't know, because I feel like maybe Zahail, well, Zahail slash Vasha um, will be in her theory with Seth. So they're going to like, I need a Nightblood Vasha like reunion. I don't know what Azor's doing, but yeah. Azure? Azure? I don't know how to say it. I'm terrible at pronunciation, by the way. I probably butchered all the characters' names. <laughs> I feel like we are gonna see some like characters from different Cosmere things in Rhythm of War though. Like, well, I really want Cezed, 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 <laughs> um, to be in this one, or just, I don't know, some like reference to him or something. There's a meme which is like, I want Cezed to um, like manifest in Odium's house and challenge him to a rap battle or something. <laughs> that would be so funny the Bulgarian and the German cover. So the Bulgarian cover has Shalan and Adeline and they both look like they're kind of in Shadesmar, which is kind of cool. There's like some cool trees. I'm not really getting many clues. This one actually and the US one, they both look like they're kind of going towards the light, which I hope is not a, <laughs> a thing saying they're gonna die because I can't deal with them dying. But um, yeah, it almost looks, maybe they get trapped in Shadesmar and they like have to find their way out. Um, yeah, I feel like maybe we're gonna find out more in this book about the kind of heralds and the like desolations and maybe they'll be like discovering stuff in Shadesmar about that. I feel like Adeline and Shalom are gonna be like doing all the work in this book and then like <laughs> Seth and Kaladin are just gonna be like <laughs> causing chaos. And then so the German cover is interesting because we have like a um, kind of cityscape with like ships on the horizon it's like a sunset which i like sunsets um and then yeah it looks like these ships are like coming in i wish i always thought of um Thalenar or wherever the battle was at the end of oathbringer they kind of have that felt like quite a um like a seaport type city but was it cabranth that's it I, have we had a battle in cabranth yet can't remember I need to reread the series <laughs> I feel like maybe that's what this um is depicting then there's a lighthouse I don't know where the lighthouse came from because I don't know Taravangian he's kind of behaving shadily towards the end of Oathbringer so maybe we will have a big conflict with him that might be another one of the like plots because I think there's going to be like several separate plot threads that all kind of weave together at the end and it, there's a little person on the like cliff which I don't know who that is it kind of if a very rough guess I would say Dalinar I like the little tree I like I like the cover but I just don't see the relevance to the Stormlight Archive um it looks cool though so yeah so ranking them I would probably go US UK 
uh, the German one and then the Bulgarian one. So yeah, so that is everything for this video. I, I just get very excited when I see a pretty cover and I just knowing that like we're gonna have Rhythm of War in like what, <laughs> September, October, like three months. That's just so exciting. I can't believe I couldn't do that in my head, but you know, my brain's tired. I'm very excited. I feel like the, so we know the flashbacks are gonna be Vanili and Eshnai, but I feel like there's gonna be another major character. Um, so it's, I, my theory is it's either gonna be Adeline or Navani. Cause also in the like description synopsis, there's, it says something about a Fabriel arms race. And obviously Navani is very like, um, involved <laughs> in the Fabriel world. So we could focus a bit on that, which I love them both. So I would happy, be happy with either of them. Um, yeah, the only character that I would not want a like specific book for would be Moash. <laughs> um, but I feel like, uh, I don't know, I think a lot of people don't like him. So I feel like Sanderson wouldn't do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any theories about Rhythm of War, then please let me know down below. Also, which of your favourite out of the four covers we've seen for Rhythm of War so far are. And yes, so if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.